Hello everybody, welcome to part 69 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Here we are, we finally made it. If uh, everything goes according to plan, this should be the final episode. Figured we'd start things off here in Firelink Shrine, uh, go back to our roots after um, this long journey we've been on. Last episode was a bit of a war crime, <laughs> in all honesty. Uh, we just slaughtered everyone that there is in the game. But uh, yes, now there's only one person left to slaughter, and that is Lord Gwyn himself. So, uh, part of the reason why I started in Firelink Shrine is I'm curious to see if this will lead us to the Abyss, even though um, we haven't. We're talking with uh, Kath, I think is his name. I know that if you jump down while you're working with Frantil, it'll save you, but I'm wondering if that's gonna work here. That's cool. Land on like a pile of dust. Uh, okay, it's not actually here. Okay, um, that's fine. Actually, kind of do want to just. Eh, eh, it's fine. I don't think he's got much to say. He's gonna just say, "Bring the Lord souls to the Lord of School," which is exactly what we're gonna do now. So, same cutscene as last time. Same setting as last time, too. Go through Limbo here. See all of the wandering Black Knights who were burnt to a crisp, and now just their souls wander in the space between spaces as we make our way to the kiln of the first flame. This is always uh, gives me chills. <laughs> Such a very important central part of the lore here. I figure we'll uh, clear out the knights once. Uh, really, no need to, but may as well. Right. Add a little bit more to this episode than just fighting Gwyn. this year. These guys will always drop trunks by the way. Each one gets a different color so this is actually probably the best place to grind for anything in the game honestly. Just put on a silver and a gold ring and rack up all the all the chunks and black knight weapons you can and souls. Uh, the uh, gold ring wouldn't help you out with much besides the shield and the weapons. They even have a pretty high chance of dropping, honestly. Ah, uh, what a journey it's been, guys. Working on this whole series. It's been about a year and a half in the making, I think. Total, spanning across two whole years. Quite a bit's changed in my life. I wonder if quite a bit's changed in your guys' life, too. Surely it has. These are some strange times we're living in. Parry backstab is just such an easy way to clear these guys out. Show it again just just in case you all forgot, but over here we can get the Black Knight armor. Grab that real quick. There we go, same as before. <laughs> but we're rocking this uh, Silver Knight armor. I have to admit, this is uh, quite a cool build I put together. By in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, of course, I would think that, right? 
my own build. But I do think it looks pretty styling. Given that like, there's not like a crazy amount of armor in the world for Dark Souls, I'm sure this combination's been done before by somebody. But first time I did it for myself, and yeah. Let's see enough bragging about my armor. Brag about my weapon a little bit maybe. I know um, I was complaining a bit about the sword <laughs> in two episodes ago, but I'm pretty happy with it. It came out pretty pretty awesomely. I've never used this uh, weapon before. And uh, yeah, besides a few bosses who happen to resist it, it actually has done very well for us. We're now at maximum potential. We're two-shotting these knights with critical attacks, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And one remained. Okay, this is the mini boss. This guy's the hardest to parry. <laughs> oh, yeah, what did I say? Oh boy. Oops, swing and a miss, buddy. Oh, usually he'll follow that up with a double one. Okay, come on. There we go. Hard, but not impossible. And then, sad. <laughs> so maybe I should have fought these guys a little more properly, but. Guys, we're so close to the end here. We are so close. Alright, top myself off and place your bets if I'm gonna get this on the first try. I'm gonna bet on myself for once. I think I will. That rushing uh, makes it very hard to heal. <laughs> like, I don't know how to heal. Maybe this time? Oh, there we go. I guess sometimes they're just not good. And he still caught me. It's gonna be very... Okay, well. <laughs> I had a feeling I wouldn't get it the first time, but... <laughs> you gotta be a little confident, right? Hoping I won't have to resort to fast rolling, but this is going to be very difficult without it. So I'll cut back to there. Alright, we'll get him this time. <laughs> How many times have I said that? I'm not going to get to say it much longer, guys. Let me uh, take that my time. Yeah, if you don't parry him and you don't have a summon to help you out, uh, Gwyn is a very tough fight. At least we're doing decent damage against him. there. Yep. Didn't even get the heal off in time. You that died. Alright, third time's the charm. <laughs> Had to get that one. Okay. Oh, there you got me. It's gonna one-shot me. Alright, not quite, not quite. Our armor's holding up. Flames make it look like his sword's way bigger than it actually is. Oh, that was a double stab. Oh! <laughs> Jump says Grim. Alright, this could be a bit of a grueling battle. <laughs> Let's see how this next one goes. Alright, here we go again. Alright, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go for a parry. I know you can parry this jumping one. Oh! <laughs> And that was not successful. Ooh, man, that was. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not the best barrier, and Gwyn is a very tough one to parry. One thing I gotta say about Elden Ring is uh, one of the best features is definitely the, uh, like, being able to just respawn right outside the boss room. I don't think every boss has it, but a lot of them do have this uh, Snake of America, I believe it's called. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Not my best attempt. <laughs> Didn't even touch him. Yeah, this uh this run back is pretty long and tedious. 
we are like 15 minutes in and it's already 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 <laughs> might notice how sometimes I've got 4,000 souls when the boss starts and I'm not stopping to kill anyone it's uh what's happening is sometimes the knights will just fall off on their own which is kind of funny I would let you heal. Oh! Oh, maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> he called me out big time. Just now. Yeah, he's a weird boss. Like, ah, oh, man, stomach. Like, he'll just, the openings are just when he just stands there. Because he just, his attacks come out so fast. Alright, gonna try it one handed this time. Not necessarily to parry, but... Okay, that's not gonna go well. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You? Oh, man. I really don't want to have to resort to light rolling, but I might have to. I just don't know how people fight bosses without light rolling in this game, to be honest. Yeah, I don't want to draw it out. Let's just... <laughs> the good news is this means I won't be able to parry, at least. So, this will be a proper win fight for y'all. Let's see what we're already doing way better. Oh. Well. <laughs> Gwyn heard that. Yes. With light rolling, we don't have as much armor. <laughs> I mean, this fight can stress me out. I got some fairly bad memories with it. <laughs> because uh, one year for the Extra Life Gaming Marathon, it's called, I uh, was playing Dark Souls, and my goal was to beat it in 24 hours. And I did manage to win, but the problem is, at the end, I was starting to get pretty mentally exhausted, as you can imagine. And Gwyn being the last boss, um, it's giving me a lot of trouble. Okay, a little toasty. I think the key to healing is actually... Oh! I was gonna say hide behind the rocks, but then he just flies over them. Oh man, we're getting stunlocked so bad. Oh man. <laughs> He might just uh, might be to just not even get hit at all. <laughs> yeah, with that extra life story, um, it was getting stressful specifically because it was really coming down to the wire. <laughs> I was gonna beat it within 24 hours. Like I said, thankfully I prevailed, but oof, man, that was that was getting nerve-wracking. Okay, I've swapped the flip ring out for the wolf ring. I'm hoping the uh, having a little bit of extra poise will make the difference here. Because, uh, yeah, as of before, getting even hit with one thing was basically a one-shot, because we're just so stunlocked. Whoa. Okay, yeah, there you go. See, using the rocks usually helps. Uh, oh, sorry, to block them off when you're trying to heal. And there we go. Okay, yeah, so wolf ring is kind of essential right now. Ah, oh, man, I thought the rocks were good. And there's the stab. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> the rocks worked against me there. Oh, this is going to be a long night, isn't it? <laughs> I think it is. Attempt number... I don't even know now. <laughs> I'm going to try not locking on. I think that has been doing us harm. We need that analog roll. Not being locked into directions. Yeah, I don't think any boss is harder to heal on than Gwyn. Honestly. <laughs> Just trying to get between the pillar, please. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't heal. 
You can't kill this thing. This, this looks so pathetic. <laughs> all right, all right. This is it. This is it. There we go. Okay. Whew. All right. Now let's. And now we're hit again. <laughs> oh my god. This is so dangerous. That stab, man. That stab. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. This is this is rough, guys. Maybe uh, I just gotta focus less on healing. Just I think that grab point is the only chance you really get. All right, I'm just gonna forget about healing. I'm just gonna focus on the fight. Okay. Let's roll. Who cares? Who cares? It's fine. Turn around. That's our chance to heal. And apparently not, actually. Okay, okay he's just gonna grab the air. That is our chance. And yeah, get out of here. Alright, it's on better than it usually does. Stagger. Timing down on him a little bit better this time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, gotta watch out for that one. He's got two jumps: the big horizontal slash and his uh, more overhead one. Much different timings, but we did a lot better that time, right? Sometimes you just gotta let go, not worry about him. All right, here we go. Gonna take what we learned. And finish the fight. That that running stab ain't so bad if you're not trying to heal. Okay, okay. Oh, what have I done? Right, sometimes he does let you heal, as it turns out. You might have noticed by now, but I'm just completely ignoring my souls because it has literally not mattered any more than it has now. Got multiple combos, a two hit combo, three hit combo, and a four hit combo. Ooh, man, stab follow up, forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> I was asking for that. Okay, I got him lined up nice with the pillar, and I <laughs> played myself there. All right, what do we learn, guys? What do we learn? Only heal during the stab. Otherwise, just... Okay, well, that was greedy. <laughs> I admit. Don't attack after the first swing. You're definitely asking asking for it then. Alright, come on. What you got, Quinn? What you got? Got nothing on me. I think we need two hand swings it. He'll do a three hit combo. It's the one handed one you gotta watch out for. Ah, a little toasty, a little bit of fire. Okay. Not bad so far, not bad. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Oh, Whoa, I don't know what happened there. I don't think I took any damage, but I still got staggered. That's definitely a stab, yeah. Oh, and the follow up. <laughs> the key is just not get not to get hit. Not to get hit. Don't worry about healing. I gotta follow my own advice too. When I get hit, just keep fighting. Stop looking for the kill. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Alright, alright. Ok, 
Okay, okay, here we go. Ah! Not real far enough that time. You can clearly see. Here we go. That one-handed attack is scary. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I even bother trying to heal anymore. Oh, that was weird. I didn't... I rolled in and go off, but I survived. <laughs> All right, we're not going to question it. gone off that whole time. Very distracting. But still, no excuses. Okay, my phone is now in do not disturb mode, so no more excuses. <laughs> Guys, never give up. Maybe you'll get a heal off if you try hard enough. Hey, the rock works. <laughs> Alright, the camera is not helping right now. Okay. Alright, so yeah, if you use your train to the advantage, you actually can get some heals off. That's hilarious. I'm too short for him to actually hit. I'm in the back. Ooh, directed. Yeah, see, when he's running up on you and close by, you can't. You need it to be far away. Oh, still got me. That one handed quick attack, man. <laughs> it's just too brutal.
Ooh. What a fight. What a fight. So that was the first and last time that I decided to skip commentary because I just really needed to focus there. Oh my god. Yeah, that... Uh, I want to speak about that fight for a little bit because... Um, <laughs> What really makes it, I think that Gwyn is definitely a candidate for hardest boss in the game if you're not willing to like parry him or summon anybody kind of stuff. Because yeah, parrying is sort of like the cheat code, which is why I really just didn't want to do it. Um, because yeah, the, what the two factors that make it hard when you fight him the way I did is um, his quick attack is just so hard to, um, to react to unless uh, you're playing really defensively like I was there. Combined with, he is truly the king of, I'm not going to let you heal <laughs> kind of bosses. Those two just make it a real, like, tight rope walk. Thankfully, it wasn't too much of a um, of an endurance. We did decent damage on him. So with that, I'm going to grab my souls. All um, zero of them, I believe. And then, we're not going to link the fire. No, instead, remember guys, we're doing the dark ending this time. In order to do that, we head this way. Talk a bit about this, right? So the idea of the dark ending is that we usurp the throne from Gwyn. We've killed him. We have his soul in our hands. And so now, instead of burning ourselves to continue the Age of Fire, thy safe return. Let Karth and Frant serve your highness. We are here to serve your highness. Let the true dark be cast upon the world. And with that, the Age of Darkness begins. <laughs> yep, which kind of means the Age of Humanity when you think about it. So maybe the good ending in actuality. It's definitely not the good and the bad ending. It's the light and the dark ending. And considering that this is Dark Souls, which one do you think is more fitting? Honestly, I... Uh, Kind of neutral on both endings, you know, both have some very good and bad implications. But um yeah. Either way we did it guys. We uh we got the dark ending, we did all the things in this game. That being said, um you know, reflect on the series for the credits here. The series being my uh, let's play series, my first ever, and um I don't want to say it's gonna be my last ever, but as I've stated, I uh, don't plan to do a steady YouTube career kind of thing. You know, like uh, posting two videos every week kind of thing and consistently, you know, work the algorithm, all that. I don't think I've got that in me, I'll be honest, guys. When I was doing that at first, it was because I had a lot more spare time on my hands. I was pretty much living at home and working on an indie game, so my schedule was what I made of it. I figured, uh, you know, my original plan for this, I'll be honest, was half because I wanted to, but also half this idea that, oh, if I can build up a big enough of an audience, um, well, then that's like free advertising from my game comes out. <laughs> so, you know, bit of there's always an ulterior motive, but it's all good, guys. I've uh, I realized that's not it's not the reason why you want to make YouTube. You got to do it because your heart's in it. And my heart is in it. It's just it takes a lot of effort, especially with a full time job now. Um, but yeah, my plan kind of backfired too because you know. Ultimately, I had 22 subscribers at my peak. As of now, I believe I only have 21. <laughs> so shout out to whoever uh, checked out. I don't blame you. But yeah, all in all, I had a good time with the series. I feel like I covered most of the bases, at least. We definitely didn't get like every little tidbit of lore. Like I said, guys, that... Um, Marcus, the maker of From the Dark, he is the man for that. Go check out From the Dark. I plugged it in on the first episode. Highly, highly recommend it if you want to get like all the in-depth lore. This was more of a just me playing the game, having fun with it, putting together a build kind of thing. 
And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time making it, in all honesty. Um, these last few hard bosses, Manus, Calamite, and Gwyn, as like it was taking multiple hours <laughs> to take them on, my uh, patience was starting to thin out. But ultimately, now that we're here, now that it's all done, this is my last night of recording. Dark Souls, that is. It's uh, It feels good to be done with it, you know? I'm glad I did it. No regrets. And uh, yeah, I'm working a full-time job now. I'm in the game development industry. I'm very happy about that. And um, yeah, I'm going to continue to uh, do my part in growing this amazing industry. I believe video games are the highest form of art right now. It combines all the mediums of video and music and fighting combat and uh you know just all sorts of just interaction with the actual user of the art which i think is amazing because of that i want to make sure that we uh that good games put, get put out there right that's my whole standard of it is i don't want to make you know your mobile addiction kind of games i want to make your dark souls kind of games which is why i had to do honor to the series and um do a full let's play of it i think so yeah um, i'm kind of winging it <laughs> with this uh these closing words here and uh, just in time looks like the credits are wrapping up so on that note guys i hope you had a good time watching i had an excellent time making it stick around for more don't know if i'm ever going to make something this big <laughs> again but i'm certainly planning to put out some more videos so i'll catch you next time so long